This is the Shimano Twin Power SWTP14000 XGB, Shimano's purpose built speed jigging and popping offshore reel. Now, this reel is designed to catch big fish like GT, yellowtails, tuna, and even a small sailfish. And uh, man, I normally don't use the word burly and Shimano in the same sentence, but that's just what this is. It's a big burly reel meant to handle big, mean, fast running, uh, hard fighting uh, saltwater fish um, inshore and uh, deep offshore. Now this isn't my reel, I haven't spent any time catching any big fish with it. This is just an overview uh, of another big bad uh, Shimano offering and uh, the sub that provided this reel of course doesn't use it uh, where, where we're at, uh, the NorCal West Coast uh, surf scene. He saves it for his trips down to the San Diego and Mexican waters to chase yellowtails, big tuna, and even small swordfish. Now the Twin Power came to the US market from the Japanese domestic market or the JDM market about two years ago in an effort to standardize their uh, lineup across uh, international markets. Shimano uses this reel to fill in the gap in between the Saragossa and the Stella. And uh, I did a lot of research on this reel. I didn't realize how polarizing a $600 popping reel would be. Before we talk about that, let's cover the specs from the top down. Now, as mentioned, the Twin Power reel was originally a JDM reel only. It was made in Japan. It still continued to be made in Japan till this day. And with anything made in Japan, you can expect just a high quality finish and build uh, in the spinning reel. And uh, man, I mean, you know, as I spin it here, you can really feel how tight the tolerances are and just how uh, well built and well finished uh, this reel truly is. Drag cap has a huge thumb bar for infinite clicks. It does have a seal under here and there is a, a bushing system underneath the spool. So you can say that the drag stack is sealed at the top and the bottom. Uh, it features Shimano's x tough waterproof drag system and uh, waterproof it is. Uh, 55 pounds of very smooth compliant drag. Uh, I won't pull the line out because uh, I don't want it to unspool. Um, like a lot of big offshore and uh, higher end Shimano reels, it doesn't have a line keeper. Uh, so Shimano uh, provides uh, a line band to keep it tight to the spool um, when not in use. The spool has 315 yards of 65 pound test uh, using a Power Pro. I've noticed that Shimano uh, you know, uses Power Pro uh, for their braid ratings. The sub uh, that loaned me this review uh, has 400 yards of 50 pound Seaguar um, hollow core braid. Um, this braid I think was blue at one time and it's faded down to a uh, light blue and white. Shows you uh, how much work he's actually put into this reel. The spool has what Shimano calls the propulsion line management system. And all that, that's a lot of words, but all that uh, refers to all the work that Shimano put into the design of the lip of the spool. Now if you go on Shimano's website and you look up Shimano propulsion line management system, uh, you'll see a little pop-up that describes the thousands of hours that went into computer uh, animation and uh, infield testing to get the design, the angle, uh, the curvature of this bullet just right to maximize casting distance. Twin Power has an alloy rotor and uh, it's super rigid and again it has to be uh, to handle you know the torque and pressures applied by huge fighting, uh, hard fighting and long running, uh, long fighting fish. The rotor bail wire is fairly thin compared to a lot of the newer Daiwas and pens that are coming out to compete with this reel, uh, but it's pretty substantial. Firm enough, uh, firm to the touch, ends in a nice uh, drop design at the line roller. And because this is a popping reel, just like Van Stahl's, it does have a manual trip bail, uh, so no automatic closure as you spin it. You're gonna have to manually close it after every cast. And, uh, you know, manufacturers do that, uh, you know, for reels that are specific to cast uh, lures over and over and over. Uh, they wanna help decrease the chance of a um, premature bail set, because if that happens mid cast, there's a good chance you'll lose your, you know, $20, $50, $100, sometimes $200 uh, lure uh, at the end of your cast. Now, the body was designed, or what Shimano calls their Hagane system or Hagane philosophy. Uh, what is Hagane other than the Japanese word for steel? Well, Hagane is what uh, Shimano references to the way they actually produce the alloy or the aluminum uh, used for the body. Uh, instead of casting it, they cold forge it. And according to Shimano, that system is supposed to create uh, super tight tolerances 
uh, you know, in the manufacturing process, you don't have any teeth cutting away at the metal, everything is formed to their exact uh, specifications. In my opinion, Hagane is a fancy word for, you know, producing alloy in the form that you want. Uh, you know, every manufacturer is going to do their best to give you um, the best forms and the best molds and the best components that, you know, mesh well in alignment without slippage or excess flex. Now within the body, uh, you also have what Shimano's branded as their Hagane gearing system. Again, uh, that refers to the way they cold forge their uh, components. And uh, again, I think it's more of a marketing term, uh, you know, used to describe how they uh, produce the gearing inside. Um, but, you know, even more importantly, this reel features uh, what Shimano calls uh, their X-Ship technology. Now, what is X-Ship? Well, it's actually a Shimano acronym and it stands for Extra Smooth High Power. It's a pinion gearing system with the bearing on the top and the bottom that promises that under load, your gearing will stay in alignment. Uh, you know, when fighting a big fish with uh, lesser reels, with lesser expensive reels, uh, you know, a lot of strain is put on the reel and you can really feel it. You're fighting the reel just as much as you're fighting the fish. Well, with any Shimano uh, reel with the x technology built within, uh, Shimano promises that if you're fighting a big fish, uh, all the gearing, all the systems stay in alignment. So as you're spinning and turning the reel and as you're fighting the fish, you fight the fish and not the reel. And as I spin it, it feels super smooth but it's not the smoothest reel I've ever spun. Um, as I spin it, I can tell you there is a little resistance. Uh, you know, I, as I spin it, it kind of reminds me of uh, the VR150 I spun. That is a completely sealed reel, and uh, you know, I attribute the stiffness uh, in spinning that reel to the internal seals. Uh, this reel isn't a completely sealed reel. Yes, it's waterproof. You can probably dunk it, but it's not meant to be spun under salt water. Uh, it does feature what Shimano calls their X-Protect uh, corrosion resistant uh, sealing inside. So I attribute the, you know, the little bit of stiffness as I spin this to the uh, X-Protect sealing system. Um, but you know, I've spun uh, Daiwas that um, are marketed as uh, you know saltwater proof, and uh, their mag seal technologies allow for the same level, if not a higher level, of um, saltwater sealing without the resistance. Uh, you know, as you spin it. And you'll notice on the body there is no anti-reverse switch and that's absolutely not needed for a reel like this it's just an opportunity uh, for failure and uh, you know just like any high-end Shimano and really any Shimano with an anti-reverse gearing system uh, there's just very very little play I mean almost zero play very very solid the 14,000 is the high-speed popping version of the twin power lineup it has a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio so that's 6.2 turns of the rotor for every one turn of the handle and that'll give you 53 inches of line retrieval for every turn the twin power has an anodized aluminum handle interchangeable uh, for left and uh, right side and uh, it has a really nice uh, comfortable rubber knob and unlike Daiwa's at this price range and at this size uh, the twin power has a collapsible handle for storage purposes now while the handle and spool are anodized, the body and the rotor are painted. It's kind of a dark navy blue with a silver metal flake. And uh, the body and rotor have uh, what Shimano calls their X-Shield corrosion resistant uh, finish, just to give you another level of protection against saltwater corrosion. By Shimano standards, this is a 14,000 size reel, but again, uh, Shimano's pretty generous with their sizings and Shimano's tend to run on the smaller side uh, for size and comparison. This is a Pen Conflict 8000, so you can get a sense uh, side by side of how big a Pen Conflict 8000 is uh, to a Shimano 14000. And uh, this is a Daiwa Saltiga Dogfight 8000. Uh, just, just massive. So, you know, when you're looking for, uh, you know, a real design uh, for popping and uh, throwing big lures and uh, handling big fish, uh, Pen 8000, Shimano 14000 and uh, Daiwa 8000. Now while doing research for this reel, I was really surprised at how polarizing it was. You really do have two divided camps uh, for this reel. You have the one side that really believes this is a bargain Stella. A lot of guys are happy that um, you know Shimano introduced this in between the Saragossa and the Stella. A lot of guys believe that for the cost of one 14,000 size Stella, you could buy two twin powers. And you have the other side of the camp uh, that believe this is nothing uh, but a gussied up uh, Saragossa. Uh, you know, that side of the camp uh, also includes a real guru, uh, Alan Hawk, and uh, he doesn't even provide a, a review for 
for the Twin Power on his website because he uh, just states that it's basically um, a pretty Saragossa, a Saragossa with uh, you know a couple extra parts that just isn't worth it because it's actually in fact harder to maintain. Uh, he calls it a redundancy in the Shimano lineup. Me personally, and again, this is coming from a guy that's actually never used this reel in the salt, never caught a big fish with it. Uh, you know, I give Shimano some credit. They recognize an opportunity to fill in the gap, uh, the product gap between uh, the Stella and the Saragossa. Um, you know, the Twin Power has a little more Shimano tech built in over the Saragossa. Um, you know, it's not quite a Stella. The Stella is going to have more bearings. Uh, the Stella has dual bearings on the line roller, has larger internal gearings and additional seals. But for the price of a Stella, uh, you can buy two Twin Powers. Maybe that's why they call it twin power and uh, you know it really all comes down to you the buyer if you're um, caught in between the Saragossa or if you're looking for the Shimano Stella experience again the Shimano Stella is Shimano's answer to the question how much tech can you put into a reel no matter the cost uh, if you want that Shimano Stella experience but don't go out often enough to justify uh, you know eleven hundred dollars then maybe the Shimano twin power is for you so thanks for watching really appreciate it and as always link in the description below if uh, you decide to buy one any purchases made through that associate link directly support this channel this is the shimano twin power sw14000 xgb tight lines and maybe i'll see you guys on the shore And unlike Daiwa's uh, at this uh, price range and uh, at this size, uh, Shimano gives you a collapsible handle uh, for storage purposes, uh, something I happen to be a big fan of.